Are you someone who can spot a trend from a mile away? Can you predict a hit song or next season's must-have shoes? Well, if you can, it may come in handy when answering questions related to graphs on the ACT science test section. Why? Because the ACT rewards students who can spot trends in the data. In the science section, you'll be faced with many graphs and will need to be able to quickly and accurately read them, spot trends, and answer questions about those trends. So if you see a trend right away, mark it on your booklet to point out what you noticed. You can also annotate graphs so that you can find the values more quickly and easily. Use your pencil to help you draw vertical and horizontal lines to enable more accurate reading. Here's a pro tip. When you're reading graphs, be sure to pay attention to the labels of the axes and the scales of measure. They may not be set up the way you would expect, and you don't want to use the wrong information. With that in mind, let's take a look at a question based on a graph. According to figure two, what is the air pressure at 65 meters below the surface? The answer choices are A, 4.5 atmospheres, B, 5.5 atmospheres, C, 6.0 atmospheres, and D, 7.0 atmospheres. To answer this question, look at figure two. Note where the units of measure are located on the graph. You'll find 65 meters on the horizontal axis, which represents depth. This is an example of how a graph can sometimes look counterintuitive because you might expect the depth to be represented vertically. Use your pencil to follow this point up until you reach the line on the graph. Now draw a line to the left, using your second pencil if necessary, until you reach the y-axis, which represents pressure. The point you reach on the y-axis should be 6.0 atmospheres, which means that at a depth of 65 meters below the surface, the pressure is 6.0 atmospheres. We have our answer, choice C. Another skill that you'll be tested on is your ability to extrapolate based on the information you have. Extrapolate means to extend or expand known data by assuming the continuation of existing trends. Let's look at an example based on the same graph. Based on figure two, at a depth of 100 meters, the pressure would most likely be closest to which of the following? Choice A is three atmospheres, choice B is 4.5 atmospheres, choice C is eight atmospheres, and choice D is 12 atmospheres. When you look at the graph, you'll see that it represents depths no greater than 80 meters, so you'll need to extrapolate to find the closest value. You can take out your pencil and extend the line to where it would logically fall on the graph at a depth of 100 meters. Draw your line to the vertical axis to get an estimation, and we see it's about eight atmospheres. So choice C, eight atmospheres, is the best answer. Now let's look at another graph and accompanying question. This one shows the relationship between pressure and volume. According to the data, one could generalize that the volume A increases as the pressure decreases, B increases as the pressure increases, C remains the same, or D increases, then decreases. To help visualize the answer, you can annotate the charts by drawing arrows that indicate the direction of the pressure and volume on the axes. As the volume increases, the slope of the curve goes down, which means that pressure decreases, so A is the best answer. Now that we've covered reading graphs, make sure you continue to use your trend spotting skills not only when it comes to music and fashion, but also on some of the many practice problems available throughout this course.